It's just a really flexible tool that you know helps teachers, helps kids, helps families. And it's just a really important piece for communicating and just enhancing the curriculum and the, the teaching that we do here in Minnetonka. Well, I don't just like Blackboard, I love Blackboard. I have the kids on our discussion board back behind me here, constantly engaged in our conversation that we have in class uh, at home. So what we're talking about in class, whether it's uh, a science topic or, or something involving our government, that energy that's in the classroom um, spills over to the discussion boards that I have. Kids go online, maybe it's a Friday afternoon and I, and I post something, and they'll go online over the weekend and then uh, Monday morning we come back and we see what everybody wrote and the discussion just continues. So uh, that's probably the highlight for me for Blackboard. I post online assignments and the kids write you know, essays and, and papers and, and are able to turn those in to me on the computer paperless. Um, they submit them and then I can go through and grade those, make comments and send them back to them all online. So almost like a kind of an internal email type thing with attachments, um, but that way the kids get to see their feedback quickly and with comments made, but it's, it's all paperless and nothing gets lost. I don't lug papers home. It's, it's just a really easy and flexible system for me and it works for the kids. They love to go on in and check and see their grade. I just think it's the, probably the best thing about Blackboard is, is when those kids turn in their homework, they have that immediate feedback. A lot of teachers are using podcasting, which is kind of an oral recording of a voice, um, either for lesson notes. In fifth grade here, we use it for fluency checks, for reading. Teachers record their voice recording a passage, so kids can go onto Blackboard and kind of queue up that recording by the teacher that is read in a fluent way and they're able to read along, practice their fluency. It's great, you know, when kids miss something in class and also just to improve that oral reading ability. Another thing that I know that some teachers are doing is actually allowing kids to read their pieces and they think that's just the greatest thing ever because then their voices are actually up on Blackboard and you know it makes them proud of their ability to read aloud and then they can be participating in kind of activities that are helping other kids as well. StudyMate is a tool that my students have been using through Blackboard. So rather than having like a, a study guide, we can also just send them to Blackboard to use the, the StudyMate system to review for tests and things like that. The most exciting thing about StudyMate that I've had my students say to me is that they can do it on their iPods. I've downloaded my West States and Capitals flashcards from StudyMate onto my iPod so I can practice them on the go. StudyMate can create opportunities for differentiation with uh, students because if they're not comfortable with just rote memorization of flashcards, that gives them a tool where they can manipulate the letters. The Digital Dropbox was a tool that we really used extensively uh, during one of the writing projects that we worked on, but the biggest problem we had was kids would work on something at school, they'd go home and work on it, and when they came back to school, they'd put the disc in or they'd um, open the email and it wasn't, it, you couldn't read it. Uh, with the digital Dropbox, students can deposit a piece of writing or a PowerPoint or um, a, a link to a, a website in the digital Dropbox, go home, open it up through the digital Dropbox, and then make modifications to it and then come back to school the next day and open it again and it was it was seamless. I think initially Blackboard there was some conversation through from parents and teachers and maybe maybe it was kind of the buzz the excitement of this this new way of interacting with folks but but now it's just so ingrained it's it's something that the kids are used to the parents are used to it's it's kind of what is expected in our district. <laughs>